Welcome to the Dream Big, My Friend podcast, where you will find all the inspiration you need to begin living a more intentional life today. Because no matter where you are right now in life, it's never too late to dream big, my friend. And now here's your host, Francis Vitakovic. Hey, before we jump into today's episode, did you know that I've created just for you a massive collection of freebies that includes my Do Something book. It's a no BS guide for anyone who wants to stop wasting their time today. There's also the Fabulous Day Cheat Sheet, the 25 Ways to Make Your Life Instantly Better Guide. I've also included a 12-month habit tracker template, the Abundant Mindset Guide. There's also the fantastic Your Future Self Workbook. It's a workbook designed to bring your future self to life. And finally, the Vent and Move On Workbook. It's a workbook I designed to help you resolve any issue. Right now, all these freebies are sitting inside my secret library, which you can sign up and access for your dreambigmyfriend.com forward slash freebie. That's forward slash freebies. There is honestly so much goodness there. Now it's time to dive into today's episode. Hello, my friend. This is Frances Vitakovic, and you are listening to the Dream Big My Friend podcast. Today, we're going to be having a conversation about assumptions, like when you assume that something is true. So the actual definition of assumption or to assume something is just to suppose that this is the case without necessary proof. So you just think something is true, even though you might not have a stack of evidence to back you up. Well, in our head, we might actually think that there is a stack of evidence available. But if we were to like put it under like a microscope and really analyze it, you probably would find examples where something isn't necessarily true. And yet we did assume it to be true. So in today's episode, we're going to look at how assumptions often get us into trouble. Like we make an assumption and from that one assumption, we then go and act in a particular way because we assume it's true without ever sitting to like sitting down to actually question the validity of that assumption. So let me share with you just a few quotes about how making assumptions can sometimes get us into trouble. So the first is by Lemony Stinkett, who said, making assumptions simply means believing things are a certain way with little or no evidence that shows you are correct. And you can see at once how this can lead to terrible trouble. And then there's a quote by Darren Shan who said, we all make basic assumptions about things in life, but sometimes those assumptions are wrong. We must never trust in what we assume, only in what we know. So before we even dig in deeper, it's like sit down and think about the things that you just assume to be true. Do you just assume that particular things are true about your partner, your relationships, your friends, your family, your work? But what if you're actually wrong? So before we dive in deep to talk about the negative effects of making a wrong assumption, I love this quote by Don Miguel Ruiz, who said, don't make assumptions, find the courage to ask questions and to express what you really want. Communicate with others as clearly as you can to avoid misunderstandings, sadness, and drama. With just this one agreement, you can completely transform your life. So the first thing that we have to understand is that our brains are almost like primed to make assumptions. Like we want to make order of the world around us. And the quickest way to do that, to process all the information that we have surrounding us is just to make an assumption, like an educated guess, we can almost call it, because that's what we think in our hearts that we're doing. We think that we are right. We're making an assumption. We're going to then act from that information. But I want to talk about the way that it actually impacts your life when you jump to a conclusion too soon. And you close yourself to the other possibilities that could exist for that particular scenario, possibilities that could actually be a little bit more accurate. So think about the assumptions that you have about yourself. So we're going to be looking at you in this podcast episode because we can make assumptions about so many different other people in the world. But let's look at you for a moment. So what do you assume to be true about you? Do you just assume that you aren't tech savvy so you don't even try? Do you assume that you're not sporty so you don't even give it a go? Do you assume that you don't have it in you to start a business? Do you assume that you can't be a good mother because maybe you went through a particular sort of childhood and you feel like that's impacting you today? What assumptions are actually holding you back? Do you feel like because you grew up in a particular neighborhood that you can't be successful or because you didn't go well in high school that you can't go well in college or because you had one bad boyfriend, then you're just assuming that all men have to be the same. The list of possible assumptions that we can make like are truly, truly endless. And the problem with making an assumption is that you have almost decided that something is true, even though you could be wrong. And what if you are wrong about something that you're holding really tight to? Like if you have this assumption that you made that was like from the past, you've got this old information that you gathered, you know, you as your evidence and you're like, well, this is why that's true. 
But what if you actually gather the wrong evidence? And what if you actually gathered only the evidence that almost proved your assumption to be true? Because that was what you were actively looking for. You almost wanted it to be like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Not that we do that on purpose, but as humans, like we want to find evidence to prove that the things that we think are true so that we stay stuck in this cycle, that we refuse to take responsibility and to realize that if we want to change our life, we need to be more open-minded and actually take responsibility for our life as opposed to staying stuck in the past and not even giving things a go because we've just made this negative decision, this decision that keeps us staying stuck. And it's almost like a bad habit. Like we've gathered the evidence, we've collected it, we've put it in the box, we've locked the key. And it's like, that's going to be true. And I don't even want to question it. But as I noted earlier, there's a good chance that that assumption is actually wrong, that it could be definitely proven wrong in the court of law. Like there'll be someone else that has evidence to the contrary. And the only way that you're going to open up, like almost crack that assumption open and so the truth actually comes out is by being open-minded and being willing to ask questions. Assume, hey, I could actually be wrong. Like what if you're wrong? So let's just start with an example. So maybe I will try to think of something really stretchy that people might assume can't be true about them. So let's just say you work for someone else right now and you want to start a business, but you assume that you will never earn, let's just say six figures or seven figures from this business. It's an assumption that you make. And because you maybe assume if things are too hard, like you make this assumption, you don't even give it a go. But if you were to stop, like what I'm asking you to do or encouraging you to do in this episode is really assess the evidence. When you make an assumption, Sit down and question and ask yourself, could I actually be wrong about this? And then set out to gather some evidence. So what gathering evidence means is that you look at the world around you and rather than just looking for like evidence that supports your case, you first, you first assume that you could be wrong. And then you're much like a lawyer who goes out seeking evidence to the contrary. So let's just say an example, you're just a really normal, typical stay at home mom. You didn't go to college and you assume because you didn't study business management that you can't start a business. And because your parents aren't wildly wealthy, then you can't start a business. We need to break down those assumptions by finding proof of the contrary. Where are there examples of people who maybe didn't even go to university, who just finished high school and created incredible success, even if they came from poverty, even if they came from a situation much like your own, except they didn't have this assumption that they couldn't do it. They assumed and believed in themselves and thought that they could. So this is where assumptions hold us back because they keep us stuck. Because you've decided something is true, you don't even go to question it. But to break assumptions down and to like make sure that they release the hold that they can have on you, you need to be willing to question things and say, I could be wrong. And if I am wrong, if I've just assumed something to be true all of these years and I never even tried because I didn't question that assumption, now that I know that that assumption could be wrong, how does that open doors to me? What would, what would happen if you just assumed the other thing to be true, that you could start an incredible business, highly successful business, that you could start a podcast just like me? Like think about the assumptions that I probably had just over probably a little over a year ago. I assumed, and I know that it was an assumption I made because I held onto it so tightly. I assumed that I could never have a podcast because I was a writer. Writers are like traditionally quite private people. We like to keep things personal. We like to put words onto paper. But in terms of speaking, that was something that I assumed I would never be good at, that I would never feel comfortable doing, that I just couldn't do it. I had made that assumption. But when I questioned it, like I also assumed it to be too hard. Like I had this thing in my head, it is just too hard. But when I thought to myself, and I know, like I remember that one day that someone said, well, what if it's actually easy? When I just assumed, hey, this could be easy. And it totally opened up this new world for me when I thought this could be easy. I found evidence to find that it was true. It can be easy. I've actually made it so easy for you guys. Like I have a product now called how to launch a podcast in 10 days because that's how I did it. I, on that one day when I just assumed it could be easy, I got the ball rolling and within 10 days, I'd launch my podcast with many episodes. And now I realize the truth that had I held onto that assumption, I wouldn't be recording my episode 140 something. I would just still be stuck thinking about a dream that I had, but assuming that I couldn't do it because it was going to be too hard or that I wasn't made for it. And the same is true when it came to me and writing books. Like I've now written over 20 books. I have over 40 courses in my Inspiring Life Teachable course. And when I had this assumption, okay, it was something that I thought was true. I had evidence to prove it's going to be really hard. But when I broke that assumption down and decided, 
I can do it. Why not? Like there's other people who've done it. I found the evidence to the contrary that just even normal, typical people can write books and create courses. Uh, When I break that assumption down, that is when I found my strength and my power to move forward. So the only way you're going to get past that assumption is by breaking it down, question it, ask what if you're wrong, find evidence to the contrary, and then you can move forward. And another great way to recognize where you're making assumptions in your life is to think about all the things where you say, I should do something. I should be cooking dinner every single night. I should be earning a particular sum of money. I should behave this way to my kids. I should lose weight, etc. Like all the shoulds that you're making are also assumptions. What if you don't have to cook dinner every night that you can have takeout three nights a week and you just decide that that's true? What if you actually don't need to lose weight, that you're perfectly fine and happy and healthy the way that you are? What if your partner doesn't have to do that because your relationship is already fine without you making these assumptions and it needs to be any different? So there's another quote by Don Miguel Ruiz who said, all the sadness and drama that you've lived in your life was rooted in making assumptions and taking things personally. Let me repeat that for you. All of the sadness and drama you have lived in your life was rooted in making assumptions and taking things personally. You assumed that things had to go a particular way. You might have assumed that people had to shop in a particular way and behave in a particular way. You assumed maybe that you had to show up and behave in a particular way. And those assumptions can all be wrong. If you're holding on to any assumption, like any assumption that is making you feel terrible or causing you stress or causing you pain in your life or keeping you stuck, it really is time to actually challenge that thought. Challenge it before it becomes this negative thought loop that gets stuck in your head and you almost can't shift it anymore because you've said it so often to yourself that you believe it is true. It is absolutely time to challenge any negative thoughts that you are having in your life. You really do get to set the rules in your own life. And when we make these assumptions, maybe because we looked around and we thought, well, someone's doing it this way, so I have to do it this way. Did you know that you get to set your own rules in life? Like really, truly, truly, you do get to decide what is best for you. And I definitely encourage you to challenge any assumptions that are keeping you stuck. You can just decide to think, well, I'm going to choose thoughts that support me. I'm going to choose thoughts that lift me up. If I'm going to make an assumption, it's going to be an assumption that I can do anything that I really want to do in my life, that I can chase my dreams, that I can do it. Like if you have to hold into assumption, make it an assumption that actually supports you. And then find evidence that supports that truth, that you can do it. Because when you go looking, there will be people out there. There there will be those trailblazers, the ones that broke the rules, the ones that were willing to live life on their own terms, the ones that like almost scoffed when someone said, well, you should do that or you shouldn't be doing that. They just said in their face, do you know what? I'm going to do the thing that feels right for me. And that is what I'm encouraging you to do after listening to this episode challenge your assumptions, break down any assumptions that are holding you back. Every time you hear yourself say, oh, I should. No, well, ask yourself, why do you think that that is true? What are the chances that you actually could be wrong about this, that you don't have to do anything if it's not serving you? I'm not talking about like letting go of the things that are serving you in life, but if something isn't supporting you, it needs to be challenged. Otherwise, you're going to come to the end of your life And you're still going to be holding so tightly onto these things that like these assumptions that you thought were true. And I really want to pry them from your fingertips and encourage you just to let go, let go of anything that isn't serving you. You could be wrong about those assumptions. There will be people in this world that will prove you wrong, that will prove that you actually can let those negative assumptions go because we don't want to hold on to anything that's holding us back. Be open to thinking differently about things. Be open to challenging your own thoughts and your own assumptions, especially if they're not serving you. If you find yourself in a place right now that you wish that you weren't, if you wish that you could go further ahead, be willing to challenge your assumptions. That is what I want you to take away from today's episode. As always, my friends, I love and appreciate you all, and I can't wait to catch you in the next one. Until then, dream big, my friend. Thank you so much for listening. If you loved this episode, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. And if you really loved it, you can show your support by leaving a review on iTunes. For more inspiration, head over to dreambigmyfriend.com, where you will find even more content for all the dreamers out there. Until next time, dream big, my friend.